Today, I want to talk about static properties and methods inside the class. On the following example, I have public uh, available colors array property. So whenever I create an instance from the class, the instance has this available colors property. But the available colors is something that is not necessary for the instance, but it's necessary for the class itself. So class should know the available colors, uh, but not the instance. So what's the difference between normal instance properties and static properties? Static properties are associated to the class, not instance. And normal properties like color weight, and in this case, available colors also, are associated to the instance. So I'm going to change my available colors property into static. Static, public, available colors. And now when I want to access my available colors, I can access using car class, colon, colon, and available colors with dollar sign also. Remember, when you use a variable for the instance, like let me make the color public variable. So my car color, when you access a color, you don't use dollar sign. But when you access a static property like available colors, you need this dollar sign. Now we are accessing the static property available colors of the class, and this belongs to the class, not instance. Okay, what's the difference? How can I know that static property is associated to the instance, to the class, excuse me, and not to the instance? Okay, let me do the following. I'm gonna create another static uh, property like counter, um, which is by default zero. And whenever instance is created, I'm gonna um, increase my counter. And how can I do this inside constructor? I can call car counter plus plus. By the way, when you are accessing a static property inside the class, you can use also self keyword instead of the class name. Self, which is uh, basically reference to the class, not an instance, but the class. And in this case, I am increasing the self, uh, which in, in this case is a class, self counter. And whenever instance is created, counter is increased. And let's do the following. I'm creating an instance and let's print car counter, end of line, and let's repeat this. Okay, so creating, uh, creating an instance and printing counter, creating another instance and printing counter also. Okay, let's run the code and see what happens. The counter is one and then it's two. I hope this makes sense. So whenever the first car was created, counter was increased. And whenever second class was created, counter was also increased and it's now two. Now let's compare this static counter into instance property counter. So I'm going to create another variable, public variable, uh, my counter, which is also zero. And in constructor, I'm going to increase this also, this my counter plus plus. And first I print cars counter, then space, and then I'm going to print my car counter my counter and new line. I'm going to call it my car two and space my car two my counter. Okay, so I'm creating, let me resize this, I'm creating two instances and printing uh, the class counter and the instance counter. And let's run the code. And as we can see, uh, the Car counter is obviously one and two as it was before, but the instance counter is one and it's one again. So what happens here? Whenever you create a new instance, it has the instance has this my counter, and the my cars my counter is different from my car to my counter. They are different variables. And when the objects were created, like my car uh, and my car two, my counter was zero, and in the constructor it was uh, increased for both of them. 
So initially it was zero for, for both of them, then it was increased for both of them and become one. Let me know in the comments if there is something not clear right here. Now I'm gonna to move to static methods. As for the properties, static methods are associated to the class, not instance. So if you want to create a method which refers to the class, is something general, not for instance, not for a class, you should create it as with static keyword. Like for example, if I have static private property available colors for the car, and I want to access my available colors from outside the class, uh, I cannot access directly, right? Because the property is private. I can create public static function get available colors uh, colors and this returns self available colors now I can access car get available colors from outside so when you are about to declare a property or a method how you should identify to declare it with static keyword or without just think if your property is associated to an instance then you should declare it without static keyword but if it's associated to the class itself, you should declare with static keyword. Like, like color, every instance can have different colors and it should be an instance property. And the same for getColor method, for example. The getColor is associated to an instance because every color returns, every car may return different color. So as far as uh, static methods are associated to the class, not instance, using this keyword inside the static method doesn't make any sense, right? So if I use like var dump this inside my get available colors, this, this doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna have an error using this when not in object context. The error is exactly where I was talking about. The error says that you cannot use this because you are not calling get available colors for my car. You are basically calling it for car class, not for instance. So even if you replace your car and colon colon with your instance, like my car, get available colors. So this doesn't make any sense because the function is declared with static keyword. So this will throw an error because you're using key, uh, keyword this in incorrectly so but actually you can call this static uh, method uh, from instance but it works as a static so you can print something here you can do some action here but it works as a static it's something like you call it on the class not on the instance that's basically the end of this video thanks for watching don't forget to provide a nice comment hit the like and subscribe buttons and See you in the next video.